Patricia, thank you so very, very much. I just wanted to say that actually uh, Patricia, as the chair of the, the jury, uh, presented uh, here the awards. We obviously have um, our two winners. There is also uh, Ricardo Paratore, whom you're going to announce. We announced for the, and for, yes, for, for the inter international jury, the winner is Ricardo Paratore. It's an Italian name, but he's from Germany. They are very young. Ricardo is 1990. You are unique. You are 1992, and you feel 1991. So you are younger than my son. So <laughs> very young. So thank you. Thank you so much, Patricia. I have to say that now all the three are coming to Torino because in Torino, in, the, in November, we have, we have a fair that is called Artissima and they will show their work. So not, not just finish everything here. We have to come to Torino. They will show their work in the fair and then in our foundation. So I want to invite all of you to come to visit us, to see their work and to visit my city and my foundation. So thank you. Bye. Patricia, thank you so very, very much. Uh, as Patricia said, the jury um, was Francesco Bonami, Lauren Boyle, Simon Caste, Solomon Chase, Kevin McGarry, Julia Payton Jones, Eugenio Rebaudengo, who is also here, Patricia, of course, uh, Jochen Waltz, and myself. And uh, yesterday, those of you who were here, you could uh, actually see Ricardo Paratore's project. Uh, it's called Do Not Talk to the Driver, number two. And it actually happened in a taxi. Uh, Ricardo has been living in a farmer shop located in Germania Straße Nummer 31 in Düsseldorf. And he's organized many performance events in Düsseldorf with guests and during between three and 72 hours. So, he does actually longer marathons than we do, 72 hours nonstop. Uh, Ricardo was born in 1919, uh, he's a student at the Kunstakademie in Düsseldorf of um, Rosemary Trockel and now also in Frankfurt uh, of Peter Fischli. And we are very, very grateful to Rosemary uh, for actually introducing Ricardo to 89 plus. It is now the moment to introduce, as Patricia already did, furthermore, Nico the Icon and Tierney Finster, um, known to many as Nico the Icon, artist Nico Karamian, born in 1992, stays true to the anagram that is his name via the careful study of human behavior that constitutes his multimedia work. Nico was part of and is part of 89 Plus since the very beginning in Munich, um, and he actually fought a discrete uh, um, uh, project uh, and the Revaldengo Serpentine Grant. He uh, collaborates with Tierney Finster, who is born in 1991. She's a Los Angeles-based writer and actress and has long collaborated with Nico. And they're now going to present us their project. I would also like to say that Nico, besides being an artist involved with 89 Plus, is also, uh, like Caius yesterday, one of our music advisors and has introduced to many different musicians from Napoleon to Space Ghost, Perp to Brian J to Charlie X, uh, CX to Twix and so on. A very warm welcome to both of you. Thank you, Hans. Uh, I'd like to start by saying thank you for everyone who voted for us in the contest. And thank you to Ru Ruben Dango and the Serpentine Galleries and 89 Plus, of course, and of course, this magazine. Thank you very much. I'm very great. We are very grateful for the opportunity. And we're so excited to just deliver the third and final installment in our video series. Um, which our first two installments will be playing on loop, so feel free to be distracted by my moves. Um, so as you heard, I was born in 1992, and this video was set to a song that was made in 1993, which was very appropriate, and the camera we used was actually the same camera that filmed my actual birth. Uh, our family VHS camera. So right now I'd like to um, introduce my key collaborator and BFF since sixth grade, Tierney Finster, who will be telling you more about our life and projects. Hi. 
excuse my notes, they're handwritten, so you get a taste of my personality. Um, so the opportunity to come here at all, let alone speak, is really amazing. I think as a student, I'm particularly grateful for DIS and 89 Plus for creating a body of work and scholarship that actually feels relevant, um, because anyone who's been a student knows that not everything always does. As Nico and I, as Nico said, we met in middle school and we began creating together not long after. Um, it's like a little cliche to say, but our greatest creation together really has been ourselves. And a lot of um, that has had to do with the language of the internet, um, which is really framed who we are today. So this quote kind of feels relevant to the work we do. The world does not speak, uh, only we do. The world can, once we have programmed ourselves with the language, cause us to hold beliefs, but it cannot propose a language for us to speak. Only other human beings can do that. So the 89 gen plus generation was given the web and its new language to communicate with as children. Our beliefs about ourselves and the world are deeply tied to that practice. Uh, we feel free in our access and our agency despite living in a context that sometimes feels like institutional failure or at least retirement. Um, our favorite media has been social and our favorite characters exist online. Often, they're ourselves. Uh, as a project, 89 Plus succeeds in examining us without vilifying us. We are a generation of creative self-construction. We model our realities and our worldviews through our own images and become the functional objects of examining others when we publicize our private lives. Um, we're all artists when we use social media. Some of us are just told so. Our self-interest and confidence is not necessarily empty. The cultivation of individual power and purpose is an asset, and when included in a global conversation, gives us the opportunity to connect on a huge level, which we're doing right now, and we've been doing all weekend. Um, we have this possibility, and we try to use it to our best, um, and doing so definitely feel responsible for creating the future, both online and IRL. Um, so our videos are about love at the end of the day, and it's love that we wish to share with all of you today. So thank you so much for having us.